Hi, my name is Billy Dunn, and I will be uh, discussing the blog one of public community meeting. Uh, my meeting uh, that I attended or watched was city council meeting for November 8th. Uh, the time was 430 for the city of Pasadena. Um, this meeting, it was a, a virtual meeting. Uh, the people that were in attendance were the city council uh, members, as well as the mayor. And um, some members were there and some members were uh, remote. And so they would flash you know, their picture when they began to speak. Um, the purpose of the meeting, there was an agenda. Uh, their agenda was um, an outdoor dining, uh, area is being, it's pushed out too far. It's too far out in the street. And uh, there's concerns with the buses, it's interfering with the bus zones and the lanes. Uh, churches requesting to redevelop their land or rezoning uh, and being fair to all churches in Pasadena and no preferential treatment uh, depending on the area where that church is located. Uh, it was also discussed uh, gentrification by um, commercial corporations uh, submitting all cash offers uh, and creating bidding wars and just basically um, putting out other people that are genuinely concerned and genuinely want to purchase uh, commercial property. Uh, so what's happening is you have the corporations with all cash bidding and then they turn around and evict the, um, the tenants. So that was um, also discussed as well as use of security and patrol, uh, a specific company that's used to um, patrol city buildings and community centers uh, without guns uh, for the staff as well as the residents to feel safe to enter and leave the building accordingly for the staff early in the morning when it's still dark or actually when they're leaving as well when it's dark and also for the community uh, to enter and feel safe. There was also the um, open forum for the um, participants or for the community, community members and that was an emotionally charged um, comments that were made. Um, there were, they would list that it's an open forum and um, community members were given, everyone was given a two minute limit, two minutes uh, speaking minimum amount of time to speak, if that makes sense. And so the, the main concern that the community brought up was the uh, comments that the mayor made apparently the week prior to the public in regards to the um, shooting and death of a resident, Anthony McLean, uh, by the hands of the Pasadena Police Department. Uh, there was a lot of anger and a lot of frustration uh, that was expressed as to no accountability for the police officer or police officers uh, that was involved in that, um, in that killing. And apparently the meeting that the mayor had the week prior to the residents, uh, it did not go over very well. And they were very angry, very frustrated. Um, they feel very unheard and I would say 90% of the uh, public speakers from the community, uh, they were all very upset about the way everything has been handled and has moving forward, um, they see or they feel that um, there's not gonna be any um, accountability. And so, um, that's where that, that's where it stands. You know, they had two minutes to voice their concerns and then they moved on to the next person. So um, 
the day, like I said, the dynamics of the meeting was very, very emotionally charged uh, from the homeowners, residents, um, parents or mothers, um, community activists. Um, I felt that the meeting was effective. It was unexpected. It was, I, I didn't expect it to be so emotionally uh, charged. I've never attended a meeting or watched a um, city council meeting. Um, I, I felt it was effective because even with the pandemic and not being able to um, go to a community center or go to the actual place, you can still voice your concern or your frustrations or issues that need to be addressed within your community. So I felt that was effective and that they're still continuing that and still uh, letting the people of, of this, in the city of Pasadena voice their frustrations, their concerns. Um, and then they'll have another meeting uh, the next week. So their meetings are held every Monday. So everyone has the option to uh, sign up on their website, submit their name, and um, just a little short blurb of what they'd like to discuss. And then you have two minutes. So the opportunity is there to voice your concern. Um, I, I think that's, um, that's great. Uh, hopefully they will work on the concerns of the citizens or the community as in regards to that, um, that particular shooting, as well as others that have occurred in Pasadena. Um, moving forward, as far as improvement, uh, this was the shortest meeting that I saw. This meeting was an hour and 38 minutes. And so it sounds, it seems that they are um, quite lengthy, the meetings. Uh, there's a lot of changes that need to occur. Um, and it appears that they're trying to address those needs and those issues. Um, how quickly they'll be changed, I, I don't know. I would have to continue to watch them, but it was very interesting to see uh, the dynamics of the meeting, um, the city council, the mayor. Uh, what I forgot to mention in the beginning of the meeting is they did a roll call of the uh, city council members, and then they stood for the Pledge of Allegiance uh, and ceremonial matters. So I found that very interesting. And, um, and then they proceeded with the meeting. Uh, I felt that everyone felt heard. Uh, they were able to address their issues as far as on the city council, the city council members, um, and there's someone uh, recording the minutes and keeping everything. It was an open forum. So everything that was discussed was discussed openly, but there were some items that they will continue to discuss in a closed um, forum. So um, it was very interesting and a very emotionally charged um, meeting, even virtually just listening um, to the community members the city council members, they're there or their picture will pop up, but with the community, um, you can just hear their voices. Their name was announced and, um, and they spoke for about two minutes. Thank you very much.